So commonly these machines go into shops and make large parts, of course. It could be die mold, it could be aerospace, it could be uh, off-road heavy diesel, like bulldozers, dump trucks. Can Welcome back, my friends. I'm with my buddy Mike today. We're standing in front of this gorgeous bridge mill and a lot of questions get come to me most regularly is why? Today we're going to answer that why with a whole lot of ease of use with the technology from Japan. Mike has all the answers. I have all the questions. I hope it's questions you want to ask as well. So Mike, first and foremost, JTEC. Why JTEC? Why this bridge mill? Sure. Great question. Common question. Uh, bridge mills are a unique machine in the marketplace. Very large format, very large parts. Uh, a lot of people make big machines, but they don't make them every day. With JTEC, we're number one in market share in the United States for bridge mills like this, especially with right angle heads. Uh, we build them in all different sizes, anywhere from 80 inches in X-axis all the way up to 65 feet of X-axis. So you're talking huge. Um, so really big machines. We generally stock anywhere from 20 to 25 machines in inventory in the United States. So we have them available for immediate delivery. A machine like this could be six, eight months, bigger size is eight, 10, 12, 14 months. Um, but because of our inventory strategy, we almost always have immediate demand or very short lead time. Something that I'm noticing immediately, and I like that short lead time thing, a lot of us will buy a machine just for short lead time, is I see heads sometimes where the head's moving, right? But mm -hmm. a lot of times we lose the power or the rigidity or the torque. It just doesn't have the strength. And a machine this size on the material you're going to cut, we need that. And I see what looks here to be almost like a a gun drill setup. And I know that you guys are able to quickly and easily make all sorts of changes on this machine to adapt that our parts are here because a lot of times we also see standard three axis. We're gonna cut on the top, we're gonna move X, Y's and Z's, and then we have to shift our part and shift our part and shift our part. Would you mind describing the ease of use and flexibility on this machine and why the 90 degree head to go along with it? Yeah, absolutely. So if you have a large part like this one here, for example, this part could weigh 10,000 pounds. If you have a three axis machine and you have to roll it and reset it up, you're losing tons of time. It becomes very difficult to manufacture. We like to keep big heavy parts static and move the spindle all the way around them. So we call this a five sided machine. Mm -hmm. So we can hit all five sides of it. With the heavy duty right angle head we have, you can get up to 35, 40 horsepower, depending on spindle configuration, nice. uh, 500 or optionally 1,000 foot pounds of torque. So we're talking big, heavy duty milling, you know, a couple hundred thou of material removal rate with large face mills and hard steels. Uh, very common application for us. We do offer five axis versions as well with fully articulating heads. Um, some things that set us apart from others besides the heavy duty nature, fully automatic, easy use. So we can automatically tool change into the right angle head. We can take the right angle head off and put just the vertical spindle on to do machining on top. Same exact tools in both spindles, same gauge length, auto tool change into both heads, high pressure coolant through both heads, including the right angle. So you mentioned a gun drilling application. Mm -hmm. If we we're gonna take a drill like this and go deep into a bore, we can get that high pressure coolant to get all the chips out. Not a lot of people offer that option. Uh, we can index every five degrees or every one degree uh, with automatic compensation for skewing. So say you put your part on the table, big part like this, can't get it straight. It's a little cockeyed. Mm -hmm. We actually developed together with Renishaw here in this facility, the ability to probe with right angle heads or vertical heads on the same machine with their software. So we could come in, we could check if the parts adjust it as needed, machine a 31 degree flat, for example. You only have to program X, Y, Z. The machine does everything else automatically to rotate or mirror image. So very easy to use, very high tech. Uh, operators can learn this in only a couple days of training. If you're familiar with FANUC control machines, regular G-code programming, that's all you need to know. We do everything else through custom macros in the software. I have a million questions to go along with that from the remedial side of things to the expert side of things. I hope for the people watching this video, you leave those questions that you know I have and you have as well in the comments because we want to engage and answer that for you. JTEC is the company that can answer that as they are the leader in the country. I'm going to ask a couple of these questions because yep. I also don't want to, I mean, I do want to talk to you for an hour, but maybe off camera, but on camera, I want to get a couple of these, these basic questions off, which is... Firstly, when you talk about the ability to cut on multiple sides, instantly we're thinking about the time savings and the 
projected and possible mistakes that we could make by moving things around. Your ability to partner with Renishaw to be able to cut at a slight angle if necessary, whether on purpose or because we didn't set it up correctly, and the rigidity that sticks, as you mentioned, gun drilling, and I know you want to focus on, because you mentioned this already, that the customers or potential customers can learn this in a couple of days. So I know you want to focus on the true ease of use, which I think is probably a big reason why you are the leaders here in North America. So I know that was a lot of questions all into one. Can we touch on some of that? I know you have a little bit already, but let's touch sure. on that a little bit more because I know ease of use is very important for you to discuss, both on the software side of things and on the hardware side of things. Yeah, a lot of machines like this could be intimidating to customers because of Look the, at the size. perceived complexity, the size, the weight, uh, expensive parts that you're using. So obviously I mentioned our training. Mm -hmm. So with any of these machines, we come on site, we train you right away. Uh, we have a full service applications team, 10 plus engineers on staff. All they do all day long is travel around the country to help customers with this. We do full turnkeys on these machines uh, and the capability is amazing. So for example, we did an engineering project with a customer doing bulldozer parts where they have a wing way up over here and another wing way up over here with concentric bores for a pivot arm that's very tight tolerance. Hoping to lose you in the details. No, this is great. But we have to hold, you know, less than a thou true position from one board to the other. We use the right angle head to hit it from the right, come around, hit it from the left, comes in perfectly in size on this machine. Super accurate. Again, very easy to learn. And then besides the training, after the fact, if you need help, we can come on site. You also get lifetime tech support from us, email, phone support. Talk to our applications guys, cutting questions, programming questions. We want to make sure that when this goes in, it's not your last Toyota and that there's many more to come. Because ultimately, if you're successful, we're successful. I like that answer. A very solid reply to my jumbled up question as well. No problem. Let's talk a little bit about the tool changer side of things, because the first thing I see is this giant tool. Sure. So, I got to imagine what the back end of this thing looks like in order to keep multiple tools in there. And I believe there's even a little bit of software on the back end that allows for ease of use as well. Can we talk about the tool changer side of things? Correct. Yeah. So with these machines, standard is about a 32 tool magazine, depends on size, but we can go all the way up to 120 tools in a machine like this and keep track of, you know, 400, 800 tools outside the machine where it's all stored in the fan of control. For ease of operation, you can either load tools here through the front. So we have a foot pedal that's very easy to actuate. On a lot of other machines, you got to climb up on the table, hold a heavy tool with one hand, use your other hand to push a button on the spindle to release it, change in. Not with us. With the bridge, you can bring the spindle all the way to you, hold a tool with two hands, step on the foot pedal to exchange. Or we have a magazine load station at the back, just like many high production machines do. There's even a touch screen there that displays information about the tool, its offsets, what tool is in the spindle, what's in the exchange arm. And again, it can tool change any tool into the right angle head or the vertical. Uh, you don't need to make any adjustments. It's all handled automatically. So very, very easy to use. As you can see with the tool we have in there, we can do some very large tools, large drills, large mills. Because of the horsepower and torque, we can push those tools successfully. Very heavy duty rigid machine. This machine's only 120 inches. I say only. only. For us, it's a medium sized machine. Um, only 120 inches in X by about 90 in Y. Uh, still weighs probably somewhere between 60 to 75,000 pounds from memory. So it's got tons of vibration dampening. You get really great tool life out of machines like this. It, it's a great heavy duty application. Although I should say, we also offer high speed spindle options. So that, I want to say that again. Sure. We also offer high speed spindle options with 12 dollars on RPM, integral motor where it's whisper quiet, super smooth. So when you are doing fine mold applications, you're getting that beautiful surface finish, smooth contouring, nice curves, nice corners. And regardless, the control comes souped up, totally loaded, thousand block look ahead. You can dynamically alter the machining characteristics for smooth finish, fast rough out, perfect geometry, cornering, all just by changing a few variables on the control, which we train you on all of that. Super easy to use. Well, you have kept me incredibly educated at this point, Mike, and I do appreciate it. You've mentioned already die and mold. You mentioned the molding industry. You mentioned aerospace and that true position. I believe the part we have in here now is part of the fracking world as well. So I'm gonna ask the elementary question, which you have nailed everything so far today. Um, for someone who's looking for their first machine, 
who might be looking? What industries? Is it just about big parts? Have we already named the industries? And for someone who might be looking to transition from what they currently have into this Toyota machine, why might they do that based on what they might have going on in their machine shop? So I know it's a twofold question, but someone who is learning and might need it and someone who has one and might want to upgrade. Sure. So commonly these machines go into shops that make large parts, of course. It could be die mold. It could be aerospace. It could be uh, off-road heavy diesel, like bulldozers, dump trucks, construction, tractors, uh, these types of machines. Uh, those are probably the most common. There's some offshoots like medical MRI enclosures is a customer base of ours. I don't want to see the needle going into me on a machine this size. That would be crazy, but yeah, medical. <laughs> no worries, no worries. That's why they use the beaming. No needles in MRI, so you're good. Um, but that said, uh, a lot of times you might have parts that are weldments where they flex. And you might have a boring mill in your shop where you could stand the part up, spin it around mm -hmm. to do similar machining processes to this. But with those weldments, they'll twist or they'll flex or they'll not be in their natural installed position while machining. With the bridge, you can lay them down, not move it at all. Again, move that spindle all the way around it so that your tolerances when that part goes into whatever piece of equipment it's finally installed in, it's made the way it goes in and everything comes in perfect. That's a huge advantage of these machines. Now that said, they're often paired with boring mills. Mm -hmm. A lot of shops have both. If you have a boring mill and don't have this machine and have struggled with certain operations like I just mentioned, you might want to consider this. Uh, otherwise, in general, it's all about these large heavy parts where you want to reduce the number of setups. If you were to take this part and do it on a three axis machine or a boring mill, you're flipping it at least two or three times, you're resetting it up. It's a lot more cumbersome. Also, ease of loading on this with our door system here, you can telescope it all the way closed, all the way open. You have a full enclosure, super easy to push. You can do it with one finger. That keeps all the coolant and chips contained so your shop environment is kept really clean. I know that's very important for a lot of modern shops these days. You know, trying to keep operators, one way to keep them, keep them clean so they're not getting splashed. But because it opens, you have full overhead access to come in with your crane to load these big heavy parts. You're not trying to swing something in now, in a smaller size, you could get a large vertical machining center, or what we call a C-frame, where the spindle overhangs the table. With parts like this, you have to swing them under the spindle, maneuver it in, much more likely for an accident to happen. You bounce something off the side of the machine that you don't want happening. Uh, no, I'll put thank it politely. you. <laughs> well, Good news, we also have sheet metal repair for our customers that have those C-frames here, but you don't want to be doing that. Um, so that would be one of the main reasons Speaking of service and support, because I just talked about sheet metal repair. Sure. Another advantage of JTEC. There are other machine companies that build these bridges and bring them into the U.S., but they don't necessarily have the production-oriented infrastructure we do. I have spare spindles in stock. I have spare writing heads in stock. I also have new or rebuilt, where it's already rebuilt, already ran in, half price. I've been with the company 13 years, knock on wood. Hope Here this you go. plastic works. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. In that time frame, I'm not aware of any customer on any product we offer who's needed to replace a spindle as infrequently as it can be, and we have not shipped a spindle same day. So that, along with all of our critical spares of ball screws, weight covers, motors, gearboxes, the list goes on and on, means that when you buy this machine, often you only have one, two of these maybe, unless you're a very large company. Mm -hmm. If you ever do have a downtime event, you know with us, you're back up and running extremely fast. I'm impressed. Uh, 13 years, I guess this is what information I get from this. It's very obvious to me. I got the right guy for you on camera today for everyone watching. Mike, truly appreciate your time. I have learned a ton today and I think we've covered just about everything. Although if I haven't covered or if Mike hasn't covered something that you need to know about this bridge mill, by all means, reach out to him. He is happy to help. Off camera, he was telling me how much he loves being on camera to share this with you as well. Did you say that actually? That's a lie. <laughs> Old face lie. But we did have fun today and we did learn a lot today. Definitely the right guy for camera. Mike, oh. I appreciate you, my friend. And I appreciate you sharing it with the audience as well. Thank you all for watching. I know how valuable your time is also. Thank really you, Tony. Great job, brother. Awesome job. My pleasure.